Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you three different methods that I know that can help you with your computer, your Windows 10 PC, automatically restarting on you when you're using it. So let's go ahead and jump in the video right now. So the first method that I'm gonna show you is very straightforward and this is revolving around the Windows 10 updates that happen in the background. Sometimes when you get an update, it will complete and then it'll just automatically restart your computer. So let's go ahead and turn on a notification so we know when our PC is gonna restart before it does. So on the bottom left hand side of the screen, let's go to the Windows Start button here and then go up to Options and go to Settings here. So now that the Windows settings is open, let's go to update and security. Select this. Now under the main page here, Windows update, as you can see, it says restart now. For me, I just downloaded an update. Let's go down to advanced options. And under advanced options, you'll see update notifications. Show a notification when your PC requires a restart to finish updating. So if we turn this option on, we'll know if there is a restart available for me to go ahead and restart my computer. So it won't just automatically do it when you're like rendering a video in a video editor, if you're gaming or just browsing the internet, you'll know exactly when there's an update, it will notify you on your screen. Also, if you go back out of this section, just on here, if you go to change active hours, Currently, my active hours are set between 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can change it right here. So if I have these active hours set, my PC will automatically restart when I'm using it between these hours. So that's why my computer, although I have an update, didn't restart on me. And that may be causing what's restarting your PC. Now, the second option I'm going to show you involves system failures and automatic restarts. So Let's go to the file explorer, open this up. Then on the left hand side, let's cruise down and go to this PC. So I'm gonna select this PC, right click on it, then go to properties. The screen will pop open, then go to advanced system settings. Now system properties is open on the same screen here under advanced, let's go to startup and recovery, go to settings. Now the startup and recovery screen is open. Let's go to automatically restart. Go ahead and uncheck mark this and press okay. So if there is a system failure, your PC won't automatically restart. Now the next option I'm gonna show you involves overheating issues with your PC. So this method I'm gonna show you for method number three is going to reduce the temperature in your PC by throttling the CPU. So let's go back to the Windows Start button, go to Settings. Now let's go over to System and go to Power and Sleep. Then go over to Additional Power Settings. Go ahead and select Balance or Power Saving. Then go over to Change Plan Settings. Then go to Change Advanced Power Settings. So now that we have the power options opened up, let's scroll down to Processor Power Management and open this up and then go to maximum processor state and go ahead and reduce the maximum processor state from 100 to like 95 or lower. Then click apply. Now, when you go ahead and reduce the maximum processor state, your PC should have lower temperatures. And what I found in the past is when I reduce it to 95 to 90%, I had a consistent temperature drop so my computer would get to about 120 degrees and then completely shut down after that and then it would restart and that would happen when i was streaming when i was rendering videos and just by doing this option right here reducing the maximum power state i was able to reduce my temperatures and it would only get up to like 85 or 90 degrees on my computer so go ahead and check this out this could be causing your restarting issues as well. And if it is an overheating issue, you will want to clean out your computer uh, with compressed air, get all, all the dust, make sure it's in well ventilated area and think about additional heat reducing options. 
for your computer. So there is three different methods that you can go ahead and try. If this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more PC tech out videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.